need a walkway or a path uh, that is uh, 20 feet uh, long or uh, 6 meters and the width of the uh, path uh, should be uh, one tile, the tile is 30 centimeters uh, or 12 inch in width I mean uh, we also uh, we need to mark uh, every one and a half meters that's how we are putting the zones and uh, we will need an obstacle in one of the uh, tasks that we will be doing the functional gate assessment is composed of different tasks to be done for different categories we have a total of 10 in each one I will be telling the instructions to the performer uh, in order to do the appropriate task and then the scoring will be from 3 to 0, 3 to 1 or 0 according to the accomplishment in that specific task uh, for the first task in the functional gate assessment, it is called the gate level surface and the, the performer here need to walk down the uh, walkway in the normal speed. Uh, so you will start now. I need my stop coach uh, to uh, see the time and if he's able to uh, go the 6 meters in less than 5.5 seconds with no assistive devices and in a steady manner, then he will gain 3. Uh, so he scored a three and this one. Uh, you only need to go once anyway. And then the second category is the change in gate speed. Uh, in this task, uh, the performer needs to go in his normal uh, pace for the first one and a half meters, then as fast as he can, as slow as he can, and if he was able to smoothly change between the walking speeds uh, without losing the balance, then uh, he will score three. For the third category or the third task, it is the gate with horizontal head turns. And again, he needs to walk down the path. After three steps, he will look to the right while continuing walking, looking to the left while continuing walking and uh, he will score a three uh, if he was able to turn his head smoothly, his head smoothly uh, with no sh change in the gate pattern. Uh, so he scored uh, three in this task. The fourth uh, category or task it is gate with vertical head turns. Again, he needs to uh, go the normal pace, then look up, then look down. Looking up and looking down, uh, we will count three steps, and then we need to do two repetitions uh, in each uh, one, I mean head up and head down. Uh, if he was able to do that, so performing the head turns with no change in the gate and no deviation, he will score uh, three. Task number five, which is gate and pivot turn and the performer needs to start walking with the normal pace. Then when uh, I tell the performer to turn and stop, he will uh, try to turn as quickly as possible to face the opposite direction and stop. So we will go now, go, turn and stop. If he was able to do that smoothly and uh, to apply the pivot turns uh, with, within the three seconds, then uh, without losing the balance, then he will score a three. Uh, the uh, sixth uh, task, it is step over an obstacle. So you need an obstacle uh, down the pathway and the performer will start walking with a normal speed. Then he needs to step over it, not around it. And if he was able to do that, then he will score a three. Task number seven, gate with narrow base of support. You need to ask the performer to uh, put both hands across the chest. So fold both arms across the chest. And then he needs to walk down the way uh, with the tandem stance. So heel to toe stance. Uh, if he was able to uh, apply or do 10 steps, then he can uh, score three. We will go now for task number eight, gate with eyes closed. Uh, he needs to go all the way, 
six meters with uh, with eyes closed with your normal face please close your eyes start you need to watch for the deviation and you need you can stop now you need to tell him to stop okay open your eyes and go back if he was able to uh, walk the six meters uh, with a steady manner with no deviation with eyes closed then he can score three Uh, we will move now to task number nine ambulating backwards so you need to go down the way down the six meters backward and of course i need to tell him when to stop you can stop now okay if he was able to walk in a good speed uh, with no deviation with normal gait pattern then he can score three And finally, task number 10, steps. We need some stairs here, so that's why we will continue uh, this uh, assessment using the stairs. Task number 10, steps. The performer needs to walk up the stairs the same manner that he would do at home. So uh, can you please go upstairs? And when he's at the top, he needs to go down again. You need to observe the uh, feet, whether he used an alternating feet to go up and go down, and also need to observe the use of the rail. Uh, in this case, he uh, didn't use the rail uh, while going up and down, and also his feet were both alternating, so he will score three in this task as well. Now, for the functional gait assessment, the total score, um, the maximum total score is 30, and because he scored 3 in all the 10 tasks, so uh, his score will be 30 in the functional gait assessment test.